Our hearts are heavy today. That was the opening line of North Carolina A&T Chancellor's letter to the Aggie community ahead of homecoming weekend. The campus is mourning the loss of one of their own in the shooting of six people at a non-university sanctioned party earlier this weekend. In that piece of uh, information, that letter, he wrote, large out of control gatherings on campus and off have drawn law enforcement responsible due to fundamental safety issues for celebrants and neighbors. While no arrests have been made, the gatherings themselves have been too big and wholly unmanaged. Several in residential areas where neighbors unexpectedly faced hordes of partiers, threats to their property, and in one case, imminent collapse of a structure holding far more people than it was designed to accommodate. This must stop. Adding, in Aggie land, we often invoke the phrase, Aggies do. Let us each demonstrate the truth of that slogan through the actions we take to ensure safety and enjoyment over the rest of the weekend. In that spirit, we want to take time to remind everyone here that the situation is unfolding, but there's still a lot of good that also surrounds the greatest homecoming on earth. Yeah, first off, there's the reunion of friends and family and a chance to make new friends, plus the economic impact, the political involvement, even raising money for charity. It's been three decades since Teresa Davis walked the campus of North Carolina A&T as a student. She now sits as the university's associate vice chancellor of alumni relations. That Aggie pride, there's a lot behind it. Proud to witness the magical moments homecoming has brought over the years. It's about fellowship. It's about honoring our tradition. Traditions such as the coronation of Mr. and Miss A&T and the parade. Davis says since she's graduated in 1989, the parade has only grown with 4,000 people participating this year. People used to think that participants in our parade was just local or even regional, but we have national participation in our parade. Davis also remembers the hassle of trying to get on campus for the homecoming game. The offering of the shuttle service that we do from the hotel and from the depot downtown or from the parking garage, that has been a tremendous, um, uh, a tremendous activity. Young Aggies who helped work to make homecoming a success this year, including a sold out homecoming concert. We put our nose to the ground for every single event. They're holy from the Coliseum events to the week long events on campus. Honor the wisdom they've received from Aggies who came before them. I think it's important for you know us young people to ask questions, for them to dive deeper into how they um, moved around campus, how is their homecoming. While the A&T of 22 is not the A&T of 89 when Davis graduated, once an Aggie. Can I get an Aggie pride? Aggie pride. Aggie pride. Always an Aggie. You never get tired of hearing that. Part of the reason homecoming is so great is because Aggie students do great things, like designing shoes for Nike. Senior Ariel Robinson designed these based off a of building on campus. And homecoming kicked off with some kicks earlier this week with a special release party. WFI News 2's photojournalist Jay Capers was there as the design was unveiled. For starters, like a &T getting his own dunk, that's legendary. You know, you don't really get to see that often, especially with black colleges being supported, so it's legendary. <laughs> no, this is really, really amazing. It's so great to be surrounded by so many stylish but amazing Aggies. I'm excited for everyone to enjoy the shoe. It's been a long journey, so it's nice to see it come to life and this was done so beautifully. He's real nice. <laughs> Trying to get the North Carolina A&T dunks, uh, support Ariel Robinson for creating that nice uh, colorway that she did. Uh, I had to get the A&T dunks, man. From, from Ariel, I had to get that, that Aggie pride signature. It's homecoming, I couldn't leave without it. New friends all in their old feelings now. Oh, yes, it's gorgeous. Like, just walk around the student center, you can just see how it's all just played, like, all, like, collabed into this shoe. So to have that national attention on us, it's amazing. So, yeah, I'm just really blessed. Only a hundred people were able to take the home the specially designed shoe. They were inspired by the student center on campus. Over the summer, pre-sales sold out within minutes. I can see why.
was a cool looking shoe. You know, with the midterm election two weeks away, a couple of North Carolina a and students are leading the push to get more students involved. Meet Thaddeus Stewart. He's on a mission to convince students to get out to the polls. Stewart is part of a common cause, North Carolina. It's a nonpartisan group that works to empower North Carolina students at HBCUs to vote. According to data from Tufts University, 43% of black students turned out to the polls in 2020 compared to 61% of white students. It's important because minorities didn't always have the power to vote. That's one. Secondly, um, you, when you go to an HBCU, you finally get the, um, the chance to be a part of a majority. Our whole life outside of HBCU, we will be a minority. So it's so important that we get this experience. Voting for us is a great way for us to not feel underrepresented as minorities at an HBCU. One North Carolina a and alum is adding a fresh and fit twist to the traditional GHO activities. We all know this week is about having a good time, enjoying the university's events, and oh, the food is so good. But Trina Posey Bell is set to host this year's Aggie Pride 5K. Their goal is simple, to help as many students as possible. There's always gonna be a need for scholarships. There's always gonna be one of the a few students who not only um, have a financial need, but you know, maybe a burden. So if we can release that burden to provide more education opportunities for our students and as an alumni class of 93, you know, this is just fulfilling in more ways than one. Tomorrow's race raises money by charging an entry fee. It's $35. You can find the registration link on our website. There are so many events planned around the city for GHO. However, keep in mind there are only a few of them officially sanctioned by the university, meaning they've got the security, the plan, they're all there. Some of those are the Greek Step Show, the Aggie Alumni Concert with special guest R&B singer Jeffrey Osborne, for the young folks, Lil Baby and others are coming to the Coliseum, and rounding out the wild week, the gospel concert at the end of the weekend. Tickets are on sale for all of the events, except for Homecoming that has already sold out that concert. So you gotta act fast for the other ones. We missed a lot of festivities over the last two years, but this year the North Carolina a and game is also sold out. The concert, as I told you, already sold out. The hype is real. People are excited and businesses are ready for the crowds. We're having to hire more people. It, it feels back to normal. We're having to make sure that, you know, all of our rooms are ready to go, welcoming all of the guests back. They're ready to get back out here. They are, like I told you before, we are not looking back. We're just looking forward. It most certainly is a breath of fresh air. You know, a lot of our restaurants are still recovering from the impacts of the pandemic and, you know, uh, all the sacrifices that they had to make. So it's great to have an event of this size and caliber uh, to come back and give a boost to our local economy, especially for those, you know, restaurants that really still are, you know, looking to recover. And what a boost it is. A&T leaders expect GHO to bring in over $20 million to the area. All week long, Aggie football has been prepping for Saturday's big game. Thousands are expected to be there, and we want to know from Amanda, what can we expect? <laughs> well, we talked to the players Monday, and they said even though this is homecoming, it's a big deal. They are very locked into this game. They said we just got to win this game, and then we can focus on the rest of the activities. Are they going to win? Okay, so the Aggies, they started <laughs> off this season. The they started off this season 0-3, uh -huh. but they've won four in a row. So okay. they're looking good right now. They're, they're going against Campbell. Yeah. Okay. We so. want we want an Aggie win for sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Especially for homecoming. That's right. We will definitely have complete coverage all weekend long as homecoming is going on. And you can always find that on WFMINews2.com.